I'd now like to ask our student guest speaker, Carmela Aguirre, to the stage. So wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you a little bit about Carmela. <laughs> I met her through her brother, Byron, who was also a student at Year Up. I had the privilege of working with her during a finance project in L&D phase. I was inspired by her motivation and her effort. Please welcome Carmela Aguirre. Thank you. Most people from El Salvador don't come to the US. The risks are too great. There are too many different ways to die on the journey. But my parents made a trip when I was only six months old to provide the family food and a better life. My older sister and I stayed with my grandparents in a small village. They raised me the way they were raised. It meant that I was not going to high school because high school was in a dangerous city. The city and high school wasn't a place for girls. After 12 years of sacrifice, my dad was able to bring the family to the US. Suddenly, I was in a new country with a new language. I loved school, but I also had to help my family. I started working when I was 13, translating documents for my father, who doesn't speak English. I also worked as a waitress at our family's restaurant, as a cashier, and eventually as a supervisor. At school, I was really quiet. I raised my hand maybe three times a year. I felt that I wanted to express myself more, but I didn't know how. Then I got married, became a mom, and worked in an office to support my family. I thought I was successful. I was a secretary. I had made it. While I did feel that I could be something more, college was unreachable. I had a family and responsibilities. But I also had these two friends, Miriam and Yesenia Palma, who went to year up and thought I should go too. They go to my church. So every Sunday for five years, they kept reminding me. Finally, I applied. I transformed myself at year up. Year up believed that I could do it and helped me uncover skills I didn't know I had. I was speaking in front of the class every week. At year up, I decided to do the opposite of what I used to do, but I wasn't being the opposite of who I was because inside, I always thought I had more to say if I only knew how. When I first learned that my internship was going to be at Income Research and Management. I was nervous. I never heard of them, but they have been so good to me. I am a reconciliation analyst, and I reconcile cash and holdings for over 100 private clients and institutional accounts. This month, they offered me a full-time job. I know that I can grow and be successful at the company. It depends on me. I have a lot to contribute to the company with my dedication and personality. I plan to go to college part-time so I can be ready. I used to dream 
that I was going to be a successful woman, but I had no idea how. Now I know. Thanks to my manager, Matt Bellucci, and to everyone at IRNM for believing in me. My daughter, Sophia, turned four this month. She is beautiful, intelligent, and has been dressing as a princess since she was one. <laughs> she is fearless, of course she will go to college. I already opened a college savings account for her. Thanks to my husband and daughter for your love and support. And thank you, Year Up, and all of you for making it possible for me to be a role model to my daughter. Thank you.